had it folded, and then I, oh, that I didn't want to fold it, and then I Good morning, boys and girls. Morning. How many of you came to Sunday school this morning? Mm. Charlie too. Not Charlie, but he ate donuts while we did our study. Uh, excuse me. What? Okay. Did everybody have a good weekend? All right. The Lord gave us a beautiful day. You know, when we were in Oklahoma over the weekend, it was 83 degrees. Oh. And we were actually looking for a sweater. I know we went to worship. We were looking for a sweatshirt. Nobody brought long sleeves. Nobody brought a sweatshirt or a sweater. Mm-hmm. We were all putting towels and covers across, uh, blankets across us. It was that, mm-hmm. that nice. So I called over here. My son said, Mom, we're burning up. <laughs> so he said, how long would it take you to get there? <laughs> so he was wanting to come. But anyway, so we're going to talk about something today. And does anybody notice anything odd today? What? Yes. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, you know, I thought about I thought about sharing it, but then again, I thought about just eating it all myself and not sharing. You know why? Because more for me, right? More for me if I don't share it. Right? Okay. Okay, I don't need to eat the whole box of candy, right? I need to share. So today we're going to talk a little bit about sharing. And do you know that there's a scripture that I want to reflect to, Hebrews 13, 16. It says, do not forget to do good to others and share with them what you have. These are the sacrifices that please God. And you know what? It's not just something physical like this. You know what else you can share with people? You can share God. You can tell you can tell somebody about God. That's sharing that's sharing about God and all he does for us. What what do you think God does for us? Anybody? He died for us. He died for us. And what about what does he do? I mean, what does he do for us every day? He protects us. He protects us. And he also what? He loves us very much. Does he not love us very much? He loves us. And you know what? He doesn't even he, he knows us before we're born. He knows all about us, and he still loves us, even the bad ones of us. He still loves us. The bad people, he still loves us. And that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to love people. Now, like Pastor says, sometimes we might not like what they do, but we always have to love them, right? Always. Okay, so what you can do is you can share. You can share God's... God's gifts and God's to somebody that maybe doesn't know about God. Like somebody at school, you could tell them, you know, God's good to me. God does this or God does that. You know what that's called? That's called testifying to somebody. And even as children, you guys can do it, right? Somebody at school, you don't have to be an adult to tell about God, right? I hear some of y'all sometimes tell your parents about God. Say, Daddy, God don't like that. I've heard that. So, you see, and that's that you're testifying. You're telling about God's goodness, right? We're all supposed to be sharing. I think everybody but Charlie shares. Charlie, Charlie hasn't got down that sharing thing yet, but he will. So, we're all going to pray to share, to learn how to share, okay? Put that your finger out. Let's do our prayer hands, guys. Charlie? Okay, dear God. Dear God. We thank you for loving us and for sharing all the good stuff for us. And be with us and teach us how to share, especially your word to those who don't know. And Grandma's candy, too. In your precious name, amen. Amen. Everybody's going to start sharing today, even the adults. Y'all need to share with each other. Y'all can't have